investigating after a Richford man was charged for illegally burying his father in his backyard. He was in a St. Albans courtroom today. NBC 5's Lauren Granada joins us now live with the latest on this case. Lauren. 32-year-old Sean Baer. Please, he's not going to be making any comments today. Leaving the St. Albans courthouse quiet Wednesday after pleading not guilty to unauthorized burial or removal of a dead body. State of Vermont versus Sean Bear. According to court documents, Bear's sister called police Tuesday after he told her their father, 65 year old Timothy Bear, died of natural causes on Friday, August 11th, and that he buried him in the backyard of his home on 50 Interville Avenue a few days later. Nearby neighbors shocked. A little disconcerting as to how or why anyone would, would bury anyone in the back yard in these days and times. Police say evidence inside the home suggests the body of Bear's father decomposed enough that his scalp and hair slid off his skull. It's kind of scary, but it is what it is these days. Bear told police his father had multiple health problems, including COPD and colon cancer. Officials say Bear did not have the correct paperwork to legally bury his father. We've helped families make this happen several times. Goss Funeral Services in Swanton transported the body of Bear's father to the medical examiner's office. They say a burial transit permit and death certificate are required for home burials. Anybody who wants to have a, a home burial or take care of their own, uh, I think a, your local funeral home is a great first step. Now, according to the affidavit, Sean Bear told police that he didn't tell anyone about his dad's death because it was, quote, usually just him and his father. He has been released without bail and is expected to appear in court on November 1st again. Live in St. Albans, Lauren Granada, NBC5 News.